could be for you, could not be. You're gonna have to make an adult decision. What's up guys, it's Data Life, Dat A Life, back with another video. And before I start this one off, I wanna let you guys know that I will be answering all questions related to the UMGC program that you guys leave in the comments. I know how hard it is looking for a grad school program, how stressful it is, so I am here for you. So remember to like and subscribe, and please, seriously, like if you got a question, just leave it in the comments, I'll respond to all of them. So I'm currently at UMGC. I'm in the Masters of Data Analytics program. I'm about halfway through. I've completed 18 of 36 credits. And I remember in the beginning when I was looking at the program and trying to decide what program to go through, there wasn't as much information on UMGC as there was as other schools. So I'm gonna tell you right now all about my experience so that hopefully it can make your decision a lot easier and you can get that information that you need to know. So starting off with what I was looking for, I was really looking for a program that would help me advance my career. I had just landed a data scientist job in the DC area and I was just actually chilling. I was pretty complacent now. Up to that point, Bruh. I had been grinding, 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 trying to get from data analyst to a data scientist, trying to get into DC. And I spent so much time doing that that when I finally got there, when I finally got that job, I kind of started chilling. I got comfortable. I got complacent. And it was cool for a while, but that's not really the place I wanted to be. So I started setting new goals for myself and started thinking about what I can do to further advance my career. Now that I'm a data scientist, I still want to go further. I don't want to be at this entry level data scientist position forever. And I realized that my job provides education assistance up to $10,000 a year. And there's no minimum amount of time that you need to work there for you to have access to it. Meaning even though I just kind of started working there, they would still pay up to $10,000 a year for me to go to school. So you got to take advantage of that. Now, when I was looking for programs, what I wanted was I either wanted a master's degree in data analytics, business intelligence, or data science. I wanted it to be from a reputable school, and it also needed to be online so that I wouldn't waste time commuting, and that it would be flexible so that I could do work and I balance a social life and do everything else in my life, as well as doing the grad school program. So let's start it off on a positive note. Always good to start it off on the right foot. So the first thing I like about UMGC is the semesters. So the semesters are 12 weeks long, so you'll have a lot of time in between semesters. In that 12 weeks, you'll be taking one class, which is six credits. So they're going to be giving you a lot of information in those 12 weeks. And of course, the classes are all online and completely flexible. The workload is actually very manageable given what they give you when you're in the semester and how much time you have actually off in between semesters. It is very, very possible to do this while working full time. It's what I do. The coursework is time consuming, but coupled with the fact that it's online so you won't have to be commuting and you can do it at your own pace. There's no set class times. You can watch classes whenever you want. You can do work whenever you want. It does make it very manageable. I'm not going to say easy. I'm not going to say quick, but it makes it manageable because you can do it when you have time to. There's no structured schedule. So I'll still be able to make time for work, grad school, hanging out with friends, seeing the boys, socializing, working out, lifting, things like that. It does get hard for me to make YouTube videos and TikToks when I'm in the semester, but I can get it done. So if you're working on a lot of things outside of school and work, then you will be able to get those things done if you, you really push and you really try. It is possible. You know, you hear a lot of horror stories about people doing school and work and they have time for literally nothing else. You know, grad school does take a lot of time, but you will have time for other things. It will be manageable as long as you're smart about it. The next thing that I like is that it is a reputable program. Now this thing, I will touch upon this more actually in the cons, but I did a lot of research and it is a reputable program from a pretty reputable school. It's a Maryland State school. Maryland State schools have great reputations. And the technical programs in the school have gone on to win many awards. The cybersecurity teams have won several awards in international competitions. And the data science program has also 
won a few awards in other magazines and online articles. Another thing I like, number three, is it was affordable. Now, it's cost me about nine grand a year to go, so it's fully covered by my work. I don't have to pay any money out of pocket. And the course materials are also free and publicly available, so I don't have to spend any money on that. And for number five, now I'm gonna give you the good things about the curriculum. Let me say I'm halfway through the program. I've taken three of the classes, 18 credits. And I can say with each class I've taken, they definitely give you what you need to know. So you're gonna have access to all the information you're gonna need for that particular subject that you're taking. A lot of times it can feel overbearing because they pack a lot into a week, but they do give you a lot of resources um, they usually split it up into required readings and optional resort readings and you'll have your hands full trying to get through the required ones. Luckily, I have a background in this field so sometimes I can skip over some things that I already know pretty well. And that saves me time week to week and of course you can download and save all the materials to your laptop that you want to look over later. I've covered Tableau, Cogno, SQL, Python, and R machine learning all of this already in the first 18 credits. The entire curriculum has six credits in machine learning, six credits in predictive analytics, and six credits in big data analytics, which is specific to actually what I do at work. That's pretty much all I do at work. So I love how the curriculum is actually very related to me and what I'm doing and what I wanna keep getting into. I just finished up the machine learning class and even though I already knew a lot about deep learning and shallow algorithms, I definitely still learned a lot more. I really was pleasantly surprised with how much I learned in this class because I don't know, maybe I got ego or something, but I thought I already knew a lot. And with a structured learning program, it really helped me grasp a lot of fundamental concepts even better. And in the class before, which was data management and visualization, we were working with Tableau and Python and I was able to really work with my skills in Tableau too. I learned a lot more in Tableau and I work in Tableau a lot too. I learned a lot more things that Tableau can do that really helped my skills too. I was actually even able to bring that into the workplace, start doing other things with stories and other aspects of Tableau. And it did help me brush up my skills in Python. I don't get to use Python that much at work, so being able to use it in the course actually really helped me a lot. And one last thing I'm gonna say before we get to the cons is that the papers and projects in these courses actually really help you do a end-to-end -end analytics projects. You know, if you take online courses from Coursera and stuff, those are good, but they pretty much just show you how to code, how to move around a data frame, how to use pandas, how to do a few commands and things like that. And you kind of miss out on what it is to actually solve a business problem with your analytical expertise. And these projects and assignments help you do the entire project, which is identifying the problem, figuring out what you can do with the data available, exploring the data, testing different models, and ultimately drawing conclusions and explaining what you could do better. Now it's time for the cons, things that I do not like about the program, things that I wish they did better. I'm gonna start it off with that there's no options on the coursework. There's six classes total in the curriculum and you have to take them in order. You can only take them one at a time and each one is a prerequisite for the other. So it is going to take you six semesters to do it, six classes, six credits a class, 666. Ooh. Most other programs will let you personalize the curriculum. So there'll be core classes and there'll be electives and other things that will help you specialize or take exactly what you want. So with this one, there's no options. You can't specialize, you can't mix and match, you can't take a path that you wanna take. It's pretty much what they give you is what you are taking. Actually, it's not pretty much, it's exactly that. And another con can definitely be the actual course material. So every week they do give you a lot to read. And if you don't already have a background like me, you're probably going to be actually learning everything they're teaching you for the first time every week. And it can get pretty overbearing. And it can be a little frustrating sometimes because since you're not getting a textbook, the information you're getting is from all different places. Now, when you're in a textbook, everything is gonna be sequential. You're gonna read section one, section two. Each one's gonna be building 
on the other. But because they're giving you articles from all over, there's gonna be a lot of overlap in the articles you're reading. You can feel like you're wasting your time because you're reading the same thing over and over again as opposed to just sequentially learning and building on things. And I think they kind of combat that the resources being free and in different places by giving you a lot of them. And back to the whole background thing, for me, the coursework, it is very time consuming. It's not excruciatingly difficult because I do have the background in this thing. But if, again, if you don't have the background, the coursework, it is going to be hard for you. So you're gonna have a lot to do in a week and it's going to be hard. In the data management class, we went from learning SQL, they try to teach you A to Z in SQL, and then you go on to Tableau and then you go to learning Python, learning everything for the first time all in one class in 12 weeks. It's like each course is kind of its own boot camp. You learn so much in such a short amount of time. I hope you'll be able to retain it actually. I've had friends that really haven't programmed before that have been in this and they really struggle trying to learn Python and SQL in such a short amount of time and they never used Tableau before and trying to do these end-to-end -end assignments when they've never even seen Tableau before and learn it all in one week. It can be very difficult if you've never seen it before. And lastly, the cons about the reputation. Now I'm telling you, I did do a lot of research and to me, UMGC does have a very good reputation as a reputable school, but they give you a reason to understand the concerns sometimes. Being an online school is already kind of iffy for a lot of people, especially older people who aren't kind of used to that. But they do do some things that are a little, ugh. Like sometimes they'll give you links to course materials and the links won't work. That happens actually pretty normally. In fact, once every other week in some classes that I was taking where it was just a normal thing that sometimes the links they give you to the course materials just don't work. And they definitely have openly come out and say that they do like to make it slightly more manageable to get the degree, but I don't wanna say they make it easy to get the degree because they don't, but they definitely do some things to make it more manageable to get the degree. And you could see it like having such short semesters, kind of having accelerated learning and having these giant six credit mega classes where you're trying to learn everything in a very short period of time. And of course, the not having like an actual textbook, having free online materials, it definitely can kind of give you a vibe that they're, they're making it maybe a little too manageable to get your degree. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think they're making it too easy to get your degree, but I could see how it could give off some of those vibes when compared to like top tier programs. And continue on with the reputation. I mean, it is a Maryland State school. It is good, but I mean, it is not comparable to other like more prestigious universities. Like, I mean, College Park is obviously like a, a much better school and I mean, there's a lot better schools out there. Oh, of course there are not, it's not like UMGC is a bad school, but of course it's not that hard to find a more prestigious university. So if you are looking to have a prestigious university on your resume, obviously UMGC isn't it, but that should not be your goal, honestly. I mean, the way the world is going, master's degrees are getting way closer to a check in the box than anything. and. I would not pay 55k a year for something like that. That's just my personal take. Now, in conclusion, to sum it up, UMGC, like most things in life, is what you make of it. They definitely give you the tools to be successful, to take your career to the next level. In fact, I would recommend UMGC to anyone who is already in the data field and looking to take their career to the next level, to want to be able to say they have a master's degree, to learn a lot of good things in that master's degree program and be able to take that master's degree program while they're working without breaking the brink.
UMGC is going to be a fantastic option for you guys. They're definitely going to give you everything you need to do that. But if you are looking to go to UMGC to switch career paths, let's say you don't have a background in data and you're looking to get into it and you're looking at this program, then you might need to consider all your options. I'm not gonna say it's not good for you because that's not the case. It definitely could be the best option for you, but that's when you're really gonna have to start looking at all your options because it can be tough in this program with the 12 week program, everything accelerated, packed into giant classes to actually learn and retain everything if you haven't already seen it before. Could be for you, could not be. You're gonna have to make an adult decision. I really hope this helps. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will answer all of them. I really hope this helps you guys. I'm gonna see you next time. I will be doing a complete review once I finish the program. That's it for now. Peace, deuces, I'm gonna see y'all next time.